Welcome to Roots Finder. While you're waiting for your tree to import from Family Search, let's go over some things that will help you make family history easy to research and easy to share. When you import your tree from Family Search, you'll get all the photos and sources along with the family tree data. One of the first things you'll want to do is go to your media wall to check out all the photos that were imported. You'll probably have some duplicates. You may want to go through and delete some of the duplicates or stuff you don't want. To do this, click on a card. Then use the little trash icon in the corner to remove it. You may want to open the picture in a new tab and preview it first to see if it's maybe a different file size or has some other variation that may cause you to prefer it over another similar photo. Many of the images at Family Search never got a title. You may want to rename those by clicking the card, then clicking the pencil to edit. You can also tag more people as needed by typing their name, then selecting them from the list. Sometimes items come in a format Roots Finder can't display a thumbnail for, like a PDF. So you'll get an icon that looks like this. You can still view these by clicking the card, then clicking the image in the middle. That will open it in a tab in your browser. Then you can share these wonderful photos and stories with your family by clicking the little share icon. Then you can post to Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest. Next, you may want to take a look at some of the reports. Click Reports over here in the left-hand menu. You can generate a fan chart, a pedigree chart, or other reports in PDF format which you can download, print, or share with others. You'll also want to go through your tree and clean up any data problems you find. Start by viewing your tree. These little stars represent sources, so you can tell at a glance who's been well-researched and who still needs some work. The little green circles are hints, suggestions for new sources we think you may want to look at based on the information in your tree. Click someone's name to see more information. A little card will open up showing their vital information, their spouses and children, and their parents and siblings. You can view their pedigree by clicking View Tree, go to their profile page by clicking View Profile, or edit their vital information by clicking Edit Profile. When you view the profile page, you'll see all the information about them. This area at the top is their profile header. You can set the profile picture, a cover photo, and the preferred vital information you want to see here at the top by clicking the different sections. Under the profile header is a little toolbar with different actions you can take for this person. To delete someone, use this trash can icon. To see more information about the items in someone's timeline, click a title to open the card or use the expand function to open them all. Over on the right side of the screen, there are sections for the person's parents and siblings as well as their spouses and children. Click Edit to move people around within the families as needed. After you've reviewed your import and cleaned things up a bit, you'll want to start growing your tree. The fastest way to do this is with the Roots Finder Web Clipper for Chrome and Partner Hints, which we'll talk about next.